Here we go. Miss Frances from Quilting in the Valley is going to show you her Aki quilt. So, <laughs> this is my most favorite die. There's many dies, but this is my two and a half inch die. I use this all the time for my binding. Mm -hmm. uh, this is what makes it so very important. Very straight cut bindings. You put, you can have six layers, and with six layers, you get a queen size quilt. Done, one cut. So let me show you how I do it. This is, you're gonna measure across. Here's your blades. So you're gonna measure across. I do eight and a half, because I don't want a lot of waste. I don't want to waste fabric. So I measure eight and a half. That will cover this with the fabric. So here is my cut with the fabric, eight and a half inches. So I'm going to put it on here. I'm going to put it on this line, make it nice and straight. And then I'm going to make sure, just take a little peek. I'm just going to take a peek to make sure my blades are covered on both sides. There we go, they're covered. And Lori did iron this real nice for me. Um, so here we go. We're gonna just take the mat and we're gonna put it right on top. Now, just a hot tip. Every time you cut, move the mat a little different. If you see these lines are going through and it's gonna cut through the mat. So this time I'm going to go over a little bit and up. This is gonna save on the mat. You take your mat this way, you flip it over on the other side the next time. And then you move it over here. So you're not cutting in the same spot. Otherwise they'll cut through and your mat's gonna be ruined. This will just prolong the life. So I'm gonna take it we have this is the go big electric cutter and we're just going to put it through and this will one cut will give me i only have one piece of fabric in here but if i had six layers like i wanted or i could uh would give me the whole queen size binding for it what's the difference between the electric one and the manual one well, the electric, as you see, it glided right nice through for me. The manual, you have a handle, and there's no electricity. You would pump the handle, turn the handle, and it would guide this through with your the force of your arm. Okay. So. Which one do you like better? I have the electric. <laughs> I love the electric. <laughs> now, the, the way to get this mat off is you slide it. If you pick it straight up, it gets static electricity and it's flying all over the place. Here is my waste. This and this, this is all I'm wasting. And for my accurate cuts, that's worth that waste. There is beautiful straight cuts no divots i always have divots in here this is just a beautiful two and a quarter two and a half strip now just let you know if you don't use two and a half for your binding we have two and a quarter and we have two for the 71 foot you would use two inches um, the other sizes, I just wrote down the other sizes that we have, which is great for sashing, is we have an inch, we have a one and a quarter, we have one and a half. And then I went bigger because I like cutting my borders. Three and a half, four and a half, five and a half, and I have a six and a half. Mm -hmm. um, and it's beautiful for borders because it's so straight cut. Well, and that's our scrap scrappy mystery quilt. We use the six and a half inch. Perfect. To cut our strip sets after we'd pieced them so that they came out in pieced sets of six and a half inches. That's wonderful. So the, the, the strips come in many sizes. It helps you with your binding. And then all you have to do with these strips is you're going to turn them this way. Now I got two layers. I'm going to do three layers. 
and then I'm going to go back and there's my six layers. I'm going to get some of my two and a half. I'm, what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to cut two and a half inch squares. Now, how many quilts have you made? You needed two and a half inch squares. Well, this would cut it for me. And I would lose probably this one and the little piece underneath. But I would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve two and a half squares just by putting it on like that. Okay, I could do all my strips that way and get a whole bunch of two and a half inch squares. This does different. If you use this line here, it does different shapes, but I didn't cut those to show you how to do that. Well, this would be, let me see if I got this right. This would be a six point star eight point star and a 12 point star i believe unless i got it backwards no that's six eight and 12. so you get diamonds when you cut your strips and you put them on this angle you're going to get diamonds and the diamonds when you put them together will make a six eight or 12 point star which it's really nice and so this die does multi things two and a half inch squares your strips for your binding or strips for your sashing, and then your diamond shapes. So you get multi-purpose out of one die. Cool. So the next thing I have for you is the Equiquilt has right now... Um, it's a hundred dollar mail-in rebate off of a Go Big Electric or a Ready Set Go cutting system. A ready, set, go cutting system is uh, the manual version that she was talking about earlier with an eight inch cube with a two and a half inch strip die, which is what she just showed you with the mat for the two and a half inch strip die, the Eleanor Burns book that shows you how to use it and a die pick. So you can get a hundred dollar rebate off of that or a hundred dollar rebate off the go big through February. So the next thing I'm going to show you is my bowls. This die cuts for these bowls and it cuts the batting and it cuts the fabric okay so here is the bowl what are you done um this you are supposed to put it x through both fabrics this one with the batting and this one with the batting but this one you can see with my 790 i have beautiful designs and don't often get to use it this is perfect i mean look how cute that is very cute. Now this one here, you can't see it. Yeah, because it's I'm, red on red. Right. But you can but, see it there. Yes. So here is the bowl complete. Let me show you how to make it. You put your cereal in there. Mm -hmm. My soup. You put your soup in there. Oh. Yes. Your so, ice cream. You can put your ice cream in there. <laughs> so the, uh, again, just like the two and a half inch um, die, what I did is I measured. I measured again. And I just went from blade to blade, and I needed, I would go like this, and I would do 10 and a half. Okay. I tried to be stingy and do 10 and a quarter, and, and I was off, and then I ruined all the fabric. So I did 10 and a half. So, first thing you're going to use is you're going to use the warm and natural, and it has to be 100% cotton. If you have polyester in there, you stick it in the microwave, you could start a fire. Because uh, you can put your bowl in there with your soup and you can stick that right in the microwave. Now, a lot of times I'll put my bowl in the microwave, I warm it up and then I just bring it down. But my bowls are hot and I burn my fingers. So we have this batting, 100% cotton. So let me show you how I cut the batting. I measured it, 10 and a half. And I'm thinking with batting, you can't have six layers because it'd be too thick. With the fabric, the cotton fabric, you can. So I just made sure that the blades are covered all the way around. I could bring this up a little bit. There's my mat. I put it in. And with my electric... All I have to do... Now, can you uh, 
put this die through the manual one? No. No, you can't. And on your, on your, um, Where's the die? Yeah, it's right there. Oh, here. Right here. Okay. On the die, it says on it, go big. So this one is only to be used on the go big. The ones that are available for multiple, I'll just pick it up. The ones that you can use on multiple ones, it says right there, this can only be used on go big. Oh, I picked up the wrong because one. Because of the... Because <laughs> of the width. Yeah. Where's one that can be used on... Here, this can be used on the go, the go baby, the go big. This one can be used on go big, go, go baby, go me. So they say what they can be used on it, but this one is too wide for the manual version. So again, I'm going to pull off the mat and it comes right off. There is, there is your die, it's cut. Now, here is my batting cut and I got it cut for two bowls because I need two for each bowl. Okay. And then here is my fabric, I measured it and it is 10 and a half. And I'm just gonna sh cut this last one to show you how you put them together. Yeah, I'm thinking this is too wide for the manual. For the yeah, bowl. it is. And I dropped that on the floor. So I'm gonna try to pick that up without. <laughs> So Francis doesn't crash and burn. <laughs> so that simple, the bowl is cut out. Two bowls are cut, is cut out. And it's that simple. So. <laughs> okay, so here's your two bowls. So. All you could do, and in AccuQuilt.com, um, uh, you can print these instructions out. So all you're going to do is you're going to take this, you're going to put one inside, one on top of each other, and you're going to sew from this corner to this corner. Let me show you what that's going to look like. So here is one already sewed. And I and I just did the straight line like they had suggested. I didn't use a fancy stitch on that. Okay. Except for the top I did. <laughs> what is the fancy stitch? Oh, it's a the flower. Pink. Yeah. Okay. These are two bottoms. Yeah. These are two bottoms. But I'm going to pretend like this is going to be my bowl. So there they are. They're, they are done across like this. Okay. So the next step you're going to do is you're going to take the bowl. There's the fancy stitch. And you're going to do right sides together. So from here to here, you're going to take it. You're going to sew it. And I think I started... I, w I started here because I wanted to make sure they match. Right. Quarter inch, straight across. So here's two already done. Okay. So you do all four. Uh-huh. And you do both sides. All right. So you're going to do the top and the bottom. And then once that's done, you're going to take and you're going to put right sides together. So these are these are sewed up. These are sewed up. I don't have one already done. And once you put them right sides together, they're going to match beautiful. I pinned. I pinned here. I pinned here. Now remember that's sewed together. And then you just sew it. You leave an opening right here. To turn it. And yes, you're gonna turn it, you're gonna pull it through. Once you uh, pull it through, then you're gonna do a little top stitching. So my bowl. Let me see if I All done, has a top stitching around it. So yeah, it, there right it there. is, yeah. Maybe you can see it better on this side. Oh, there you go. There. Yep. Yep. It, it is that simple. Now let me show you um, AccuQuilt 
has the, the instructions. Okay. It tells you approximately how much fabric you need. Um, it tells you how much the batting and what kind you want. I, and there's a red, there's a floral. They tell you about the X. And then you turn it over and um, you're gonna sew it together. Yep. You're gonna leave that spot, easy, easy. pull it through, and you're going to then top stitch it. And then your bowl is done and it is just so cute. Here it is. And how quickly could you make those for your friends and family? Very quickly. It took me, it took me, I made, I made a lot of them. <laughs> I made a lot of them. I had a lot of fabric and I just had fun. You know, you bring it over. I mean, look how cute that is. We have this fabric in the store. Um, that is cute fabric. Of yes. course, my favorite color is, of course. The teal. This and one. so that would be the top and this would be the bottom. So cute. we made teal for t uh, Lisa. <laughs> cute. Once That's they sew them all together, then you can have that. Oh, it's mine. <laughs> and, and so, cute. this is the tutorial. I, I did play with the gnomes. Do you want to see the gnomes real quick? Do you got gnomes? I have gnomes. All right, show us the gnomes. Okay. We're looking at gnomes, y'all. We have a die for gnomes. What is the gnome going to do? I had fun with the gnomes. I bought that die. And what I did was, yeah, you. Yeah. Oh, you're dressing him up. Yes. <laughs> so here is, you know, we have this little Scotty dog. So I put him there on one side and then I played with different fabrics for the gnomes. I mean, look how cute this is for his beard. I gotta get his hat on. <laughs> Yeah, like that. There we go. There we go. Look at how cute. Little pink nose. So then what I did, and this is flannel. Uh, oh, I, yeah, I this played is a Robert with, Kaufman and, flannel. And this is um, Minky. I, I thought I'd play with different fabrics to see what it would do uh, for him. So then this one here I put flannel. I put the little red heart. I made him a gray hat. Here is his, this is batting. This is white cotton, this is batting. So I kept playing with different things uh, for him. And then his little nose, and then he has two little feet. But I, uh, the different fabrics I had was just uh, fun to play with. You can use many. This here has swirls on it for his beard. Oh, the swirls are good. Yes. Yes, and I, you know, I thought it was so neat to do something with minky and mix your flannels with yeah. your cottons. Yeah. That's, yeah. Huh. And then I played with different color noses. And then I think I took one and I took a little blush, you know, and I put a little blush on, on his, his cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, here, they had this background in uh, AccuQuilt.com, and they give you different ideas. And uh, this was just cute for my gnomes. It is cute. Gnomies. They're very popular right now. Gnomies. All right, y'all. What else you got to say about AccuQuilt? I love my machine. Uh, get it set up. Set it out. Don't stick it in the closet. It's too hard to pull out. Yeah. Um, uh, we have it on a cut, big cutting table, and we use it all the time. for. And we have many different dyes. We have uh, applique dyes. I mean, look at cute with the, the cap. Um, we have horses. Here's for Easter. These are cute, but I also like the the uh, different um, oblongs, you know, that you can cut and make your quilts very fast and easy. And we also have our tubes, which makes quilts very easy as well. Well, these are bobs, block on boards. So that's everything you need to make that block. We and have that five one. squares. We have five yep. inch charm pack squares. Yep, you can make your own layer cakes if you want. I love and five. strips. Dots. That's more strip dies. A little close quarters in here. Mat, all the different mats, sizes of mats. 
more block on boards, more geometrics. If you do hexes, this one here is great for hexes. You can cut them out without scissors. Well, and of course there's the new uh, English paper piecing cube set too. One inch finished sides, um, and it includes eight different dies to make all kinds of things. And then of course she was talking about the cubes. The cubes, the mix and match blocks, that's eight different dies that makes up to 72 different blocks, which is cool. And then this, we made this with Adita Sitar's Serendipity set. That's eight dies in there, and there's a pattern booklet in there that makes a bunch of different things. We've got the fabric kit to make the Serendipity quilt, $24.99, and it's that right there. I mean, that's a cute quilt right there. Nice little wall hanging. Yes. So there's a lot of stuff to explore with AccuQuilt. And Francis mentioned AccuQuilt.com, tutorials free. And by the way, if you go onto AccuQuilt.com, you can download free embroidery files that go with all of the applique Accu dies in three different stitch outs. So you can get a straight stitch, a blanket stitch, or a zigzag, and a satin stitch for all these different dies on AccuQuilt.com. Just put an account in there and start downloading. Patterns are free, all kinds of stuff's free on there. If you ever wanted a demo, just come in. I'm here on Wednesdays and Fridays. I will be more than happy. And, and there's a lot of girls here that know how to use the AccuQuilt. Yep. We'll give you demos on how to do anything you'd like to know. Alrighty. Thank you, Ms. Francis. You're welcome.